Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello if you're new, if you are new, my name is Amy. And every evening this past week, I've been uploading a video every single day as part of Hair Mask Week, where I've been showing you hair masks specifically across all different price ranges. And I'm super excited to be concluding this series with a hair mask that has been so requested that for me to try. And this is the Plex number no. nine from Revolution as part of their Plex range, which is are basically a dupe for Olaplex. I've tried tons of the products before and so those reviews can be found in various different places. And I just felt like ending this on a product that was so hyped and so requested for me just felt really right. I really hope you've enjoyed Hair Mask Week. I'm really sad to be kind of concluding this week's videos. However, if there's any other products you'd like me to try and dedicate an entire week to again, let me know. I already have so many ideas and I've absolutely loved filming and editing all of these videos and hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching them too. Oh gosh, I just love hair masks so much. As you can probably tell, I get very, very passionate about just the multitude of different benefits that they provide for your hair and was definitely the success for me in terms of growing my hair longer and thicker. So with that said, let's dive straight into the video. By the way, just because Hair Mask Week has concluded, it doesn't mean that my hair mask reviews will be either. So I'm going to continue dropping hair mask reviews over the next couple of weeks, months, years into my channel. So if you have any recommendations you'd like me to try kind of going forward, leave them down in the comments below. I love getting your recommendations and picking up the products that you guys like to see on my channel because of course, you guys are the ones that watch my videos and so hopefully they are super relevant for you but more about this product specifically so this is that triple level hair bond technology intense hydration lightweight mask it apparently claims to hydrate without weighing hair down it adds smoothness and leaves hair feeling soft it restores and strengthens so it's claiming specifically to have ceramides and amino acids in it and of course it's best used to use alongside the rest of the revolution plex range as mentioned i have tried a range of those before i guess just the shampoo Shampoo, conditioner and that system didn't work very well for me it was okay but didn't really compare to Olaplex which I felt like was the biggest marketing kind of pull with that and then the oil from this range specifically I loved I've also tried the blonde specific ones too so if any of those videos do intrigue you I'll have them linked down below but let's have a little look at this product specifically so the consistency of this is very nice very creamy very thick but it feels really good so that feels really really lovely oh it feels so creamy love that and it smells like the rest of the plex line which is probably to be expected but i thought i'd just let you know so my reservations about this revolution plex range specifically is that I see no science in terms of the way that this internally repairs the bonds in your hair. Products like Olaplex and K18 really focus in terms of the scientific development and how in which that works. And I have a video where I compare Olaplex versus K18 so that you can really dive into what makes them different but also ultimately why they are so good at what they do. These types of products, I have to be honest, when I see bond repair on specifically drugstore products, I want to see results and evidence of what that is specifically that is repairing and how in which it's doing that. And I've never found that with Revolution. It's kind of like they've put these buzzwords on products and expect people to kind of assume that those considerations have been made. Again, I'm maybe just thinking a little bit too deep into it and perhaps that's something that they will be focusing on. But for me, I would love to see that evidence first, specifically from a bond restore range. I wanna understand how you restore my bonds, what technology, what science have you put into the formulation of these products? My thoughts about Revolution and kind of pushing dupey products has been shared before, so I don't really wanna go into that, but it's just something to consider. As with all of my hair masks, I'm gonna go and shampoo my hair. The reason for that is that it gives my hair the best canvas for hair masks to work effectively so i'm going to go do that i'll be back once my hair has all been shampooed and we can look specifically about the formula on my hair how it applies any thoughts in that process and then of course how the results are at the end of this video too so hopefully you stick by and i'm super curious to see how this works and i hope you are too okay hair's been all shampooed let's have a look at the formula of this with a little bit more so it's definitely not as thick as some of the hair masks I've tried so far this week. This is definitely more of a thicker conditioner because it just feels that way. But it's still it's still a nice kind of like thick 
hair mask it's just not as thick and rich as some i've tried which has been obviously trying them in a way that's been released in quick proximity just means that they're a lot more comparable than before when i stagger my reviews out when i work it in like that it just diffuses slightly but still a really good sign let me just work this into my hair. I focus specifically on the mid lengths and ends and then I bring this up to my roots. I mention this quite often in a lot of my videos, but it's really important for me to cover all of my hair just because the hair on like this, your scalp is your newest hair and I really want that to grow really healthy and not be neglected. A little bit has gone a very long way here too. Okay, that feels really good. I'm just going to speed you up as I apply a little bit more. I'll showcase how much this product I have used too. But the fact that this comes in a tub just makes application super easy because you can just scoop out what you want and also like put product back if you for any reason pick up too much. that is all applied my hair is fully saturated if your hair is thicker I would definitely recommend working in sections because my hair is more fine to medium I find that just coating it through is an efficient way for me to coat my hair and so in terms of use I don't think the camera is going to pick that up very well because this is like white however I'd say I probably use about a third of this product and this tub specifically is 220 ml so you get quite a generous amount and I always find as well specifically with revolution products in general in terms of their hair care I've tried a range on this channel is that they're often on some kind of offer or deal you just have to shop around a little bit so down below i'll have a link to where they're the most affordable at the time of looking but of course i would just say google it just because then you can see different comparisons and yeah this is obviously the plex 9 so far so really excited it's strange because Revolution really kind of mirrored Olaplex in terms of the sh shampoo conditioner being four and five and their different steps, like number three was their treatment, similar to Olaplex. However, for Olaplex, the number nine is the hair serum, which I've reviewed, and this hair mask is number nine. And for Olaplex, the hair mask is number eight. So it gets a little bit confusing as they've kind of developed products away from the core cool ones. Um, just thought I'd mention that in case anyone is thinking that this would be similar to Olaplex number nine, but they are so different. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of it so far. So I will do a half an hour check-in just so that you can see how it's sat on my hair. You can see if there's any changes in terms of the way that it's kind of absorbed or if my hair is reacted in any kind of different way. You know if you've watched all my videos this week that I leave my hair mask on for 30 minutes and then I will wash it out, dry it and show you the results. So I'm gonna do exactly the same in today's too. Half an hour has just passed. I went away and ate probably one too many mince pies tis the season isn't it tis the season so i was also thinking as well i could do a review where i compare this to olaplex and do one side of my hair with the revolution mask and the other side with olaplex so let me know if you'd like that in a future video but from a check-in point of view this has stayed very very saturated on my hair as you can tell it looks just as i guess thick on than when i applied it which is a great great sign and it just means for me this would be a great overnight mask because it just feels so so good and these types of products, the longer you leave them on, the better the result you're gonna get. So I think next time I try it away from that comparison video, I'll probably try and leave this on overnight. Again, let me know if you'd like me to document that process or I'll just report back when this is featured in an empties video. With that said and done, I'm gonna go and wash this out and I'll be back once my hair is all washed and dried and we shall see how well this has worked. So my hair is now being washed and dried using the Revolution Plex 9 hair mask. And I have to say, I really like the results. My hair is super shiny. I don't even have to like showcase that you can really see it just sitting on my hair how light reflecting that is and how shiny same if I do that like that is really really good of course I'm sat in front of artificial lighting here however even if I'm away from that it just looks in super amazing condition so I really really like that I also think it's almost very comparable to the bumble and bumble one I tried on day one because I think it's really added some thickness to the ends of my hair which not all hair masks do in essence a lot of them smooth but by doing that, it kind of like makes my hair look a little thinner because it's so smoothed down. Whereas this case, it looks very thick, very healthy. 
and my hair feels super super nourished so for that reason that this as a hair mask i really do enjoy it i think that you're going to get tons of uses out of it too i think i used about a third so there'll be a couple more uses and the way that it's made my hair feel is really great for the price of course revolution products are very very affordable in essence and so i really do like this i think that especially for my ends it just feels so smooth so soft and yeah, a great one to kind of end hair mask week on because it is just incredible, actually incredible. The only problem I have with this line of product is the fact that it's kind of marketed to be so similar to Olaplex and this and the Olaplex mask, in my opinion, obviously I haven't done side by side, which I'd like to do, but I think there are enough differences for it not to be marketed as like a dupe or I wouldn't define it as a dupe or a copy in that instance. I would just say they are very different products and this has made my hair incredibly smooth. I just wish there was more scientific evidence in terms of how it's bond restoring, more info about that process because it's something that really interests me. I do tons of research on my channel in terms of the way in which the scientific factors that do that. So I would just love more info from Revolution on how they do that, how they basically create that bond repair system, what science went behind it, what considerations, and what makes this different to other products on the market. I'm all ears, I would love to hear it, but otherwise, when we just take the fact that it's a hair mask in essence, I think it looks incredible. So I'm really pleased I tried it, really love it. Thank you so much for joining me during hair mask week. I can't believe it's over already. The last seven videos feels like they've gone so quickly and I really appreciate all of your wonderful support during this week. I've absolutely loved kind of really deep diving into specific products and hair mask just seemed the perfect fit to start with. So as mentioned, if there's any other products you'd like me to do a similar kind of system with, let me know. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoy hair mask videos, I do tons more on my channel. So be sure to subscribe down below if you enjoyed these week's videos because I had, like I said, the most fun filming them and it's made me so happy that I've been able to create a little bit more content this week to put out and share with you and I hope that whilst you're looking at Black Friday sales or Christmas sales, you're able to grab a bargain or whilst making your hair super soft and smooth and just incredibly healthy, whether that is for yourself or a family member, I think the gift of great hair care cannot be underestimated. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys super soon. Bye!